we'll go. All right, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take and uh, remove the pump and solenoid valve from a BG-10. Uh, the easiest way to take this pump and solenoid valve out is to turn the, the unit on the table with the wheels up like this. That way you, you can get to everything in it. Uh, first thing you wanna do, you got two screws here and here, remove those. Remove the real cover. Okay, and you got four more screws. You got one here, one here, and then two up here. This is the main cover. Okay, your, your pump assembly is right here, and your solenoid valve is right here. Now to remove the pump and the solenoid, first thing you need to do after you get the covers off is you need to remove the E-clip from the center of the wheel. Uh, either side doesn't matter. Remove the E-clip. push the axle through. You don't want to take the axle completely out, but just take it till it's about seven or eight inches of it is, is outside the machine. Now the next thing you'll need to do, you've got two wire ties. You need to cut those. Be careful not to cut your hoses. Now you remove those because they're tied to the axle tube. I'm going to take and remove the axle tube. Now that gives you the access to your pump and your solenoid valve. You can't remove either one with the axle tube in, in place. Okay, now to, re to remove this, the pump assembly, you've got four screws that holds it in. You've got two here on this end. There's two on this end. All the screws are the same except for one. One is a really long screw. And remove the screws with the saddle and you got one on the opposite end and like I said you got one really long screw the other screws are fairly short now just keep in mind that the long screw came out to the top side on the right hand side of the pump. Now, on your hoses, uh, this is your outlet. You've got two outlets. One will have a, a reusable clamp, the other one has a one time use clamp. So you have to uh, take and mark your hoses before you. Before you uh, remove the, the pump, remove the hoses, I just put a black mark and a black mark. Just line the marks up together, that hose goes. If you reverse the hoses, you'll have very little or no flow out the front of the machine. A pair of pliers to squeeze the clamp, walk it down the hose. On the opposite side, Take and grab the, the crimped area, give it a twist, that'll unlock the clamp. And then just slide it down the hose. Now, be careful when you're pulling these hoses. These are basically surgical hoses and they're, they're kind of soft. If you put too much pressure on them, you will tear them. If your machine has got some age on it, take a pair of pliers and just give the hose a twist. That'll break it loose. And you'll be able to 
twist the hose and work it off the, the nipple. Same on the opposite side. Give it a little twist to break it loose. And then just gently start twisting and pulling on it. There we go. Now that removes your hoses. Okay, now you can remove the, the pump assembly from the machine now. This is your inlet hose. You've got a reusable clamp on this side. Slide the clamp up. Give your hose a twist. Work the hose off the, off the pump. There's three wires connected to your pump. You've got a black, a white, and a green. Just keep in mind where they're, where they're located on the, on the pump. You've got two, the black and white plug in together, side by side. And then the ground goes off to the side of the, of the pump itself. Now you've removed the pump from your machine. Now for the solenoid valve, that's the little brass valve located right here. Now you've got two screws that hold the, the solenoid valve to the, the holding assembly. You want to remove the two screws. Remove the lower hose clamp. Give the hose a twist. Just gently work the hose off of the off of the valve. You can lift the solenoid valve out of the machine. You got the same, you got a white wire, a blue wire, and a green wire. If you notice, you got your white wire and blue wire together side by side. The green is by itself closer to the hose. That's, that's your ground. Now, just remove your wires. clamp. You're going to twist. And just pull the hose off the unit. Now, then to replace it's just the opposite. If you look at your at your new solenoid valve, there's an arrow on the side of the valve itself. And that's the water flow. You want the water this this hose here is flowing out to your nozzle, so you want that to be pointing toward the front of the machine. You want the water to flow towards the nozzle. So, take and plug your wires back in. Put your ground, your white wire, and your blue wire. It doesn't matter which side they're on; it'll work either either side, just the same. Insert the solenoid valve back into the holder. Take your screws.
You got your sonar valve secured back in this bracket. Reattach the bottom hose. Make sure it seats up against the end of the nipple. Squeeze your hose clamp and move it back into position. Now, reconnect your top hose. Slide it till it touches the bottom of the valve. Slide your clamp down. Now your sonar valve is installed. Okay, now to reattach the pump. Pull your inlet line out of the machine or reattach it outside the machine. Move the clamp into position and secure the hose. Reconnect your wires, same as the solenoid valve, your blue and black wire can be on either side, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that they do plug in and you're not, the wire is not loose. Because once you put the unit back together, your wire will come off and you won't have any, any pressure, your pump won't run. Reattach the ground wire. And rotate the pump back into the machine. And your two outlets should be facing down. You got your You'll have to have a new clamp for this because this is a this is a one-time use clamp. And you can get these clamps at the hardware store or at Lowe's, I believe Lowe's carries them. Uh, add your new clamp. Reattach your hoses. Move the clamp into position. Give it a little wiggle, they'll walk their way on. Clamps in position. Now, get your saddles. Remember the long screw on the right side, on the up, upper side of the, of the clamp. trouble lining the holes up. Right? Secure your pump back to the pump mount. Clamp on the opposite side. Two short screws.
your second clamp is installed. Now, if you look on your axle, you got rubber bushings. These will fall out while you're taking the pump out. This one's still intact. But this one has, has fell out. So you find it up inside the machine. There's your rubber bushing. The round portion of the bushing goes inside the unit's housing. And the horseshoe shape will be to the towards you. There. Get your axle tube. The two tabs will be to the outside. And we'll reinstall your axle tube. Slide it over the axle protruding out of the left side. And slide the axle tube into the rubber bushing. And it should fit in there like this right here. Okay, now, you're going to slide your, your axle and wheel assembly to the right until it comes out the hole inside the handle. And you reinstall your wheel with the E clip. Just line it up with the groove in the axle. And you can do it with your fingers or a pair of pliers, whichever is easier. And then just reinstall your covers and you're done.